Continuing our SEC preview with the South Carolina Gamecocks, who went 5-7 and seven last year. Dalton, it was Shane Beamer's first losing season as South Carolina's head coach. He's heading into his fourth year as the head coach. Um, they have some talented players uh, on defense especially, uh, and a dynamic rushing attack as well, Dalton, with uh, two guys coming in from the transfer portal in Raheem Sanders from, uh, from Arkansas and Oscar Attaway III from North Texas. Sanders kind of had a down year battling injuries for Arkansas last year, but the year before he was fantastic uh, and was one of the best running backs in college football. Uh, but now he's going over to South Carolina. Lenora Sellers actually as well is a really good runner, the new quarterback. He had 47 rushing yards on only seven attempts last year. So that is definitely a big strength for this team, and they have some uh, def good defensive linemen as well. But some of the biggest weaknesses for South Carolina, Dalton, uh, they had the 105th best coverage unit last year in coverage grade. The other one, though, the biggest issue with them is the offensive line. They allowed the highest pressure rate in the Power 5 last year at 33.5% and had the third worst run blocking grade in the Power 5 as well. So, you know, having these great runners at quarterback and running back is kind of a moot point. If the offensive line is as bad as it was last year, man, it really it killed Spencer Rattler a lot at times last year. It really stalled their offense a lot at times. And uh, they had the fourth lowest graded uh, offensive line in the Power 5 last year. They have some incoming transfers, but none of them are projected to start right now. So you, you kind of have the same guys as last year. You need the guys from last year to make big leaps forward. Cause this, Like I said before, this was one of the worst offensive lines that we had in college football last year. So that could really kill the offense uh, next year. But, Don, they lose, you know, a really, really talented quarterback in Spencer Rattler, who's now off in the NFL now with the New Orleans Saints. Tell me about Lenora Sellers, man. Tell me about the new guy replacing uh, Spencer Rattler at South Carolina. Um, you have a really young kid who played just a little bit last year and, and is a really imposing physical presence, right? He's 240 pounds, and he was clocked, I think, coming out of high school in, a, in the four fives. And you can see the ability, the strength, and the speed, right? Had a bomb of a 60-yard touchdown, I believe it was against Furman. Against Vanderbilt, he was bulldozing through their defense for a 36-yard touchdown run. There, is, there are tools here for sure. He's got a rifle. He's got a legit 60 to 65-yard arm. He's got legit speed for his size. He'll run you over at 240 pounds. Um, we just otherwise, you know, other than watching a handful of snaps last year, and I got to watch his spring game, it's going to be just a work in progress with him, right? I think, I think it's representative of this whole team where it's going to be kind of a retooling process. The one thing you're going to see him do and you saw in his spring game He's going to use his legs. You are going to see he may he may be among the country's leaders among quarterbacks in rushing yards because he's such an imposing presence, and he's going to use that to get out of trouble behind this offensive line. Yeah, absolutely. And another guy who's going to help him out in that run game is Raheem Sanders, right, who I mentioned before, battled multiple injuries in 2023, made him uh, miss six games. And also when he did suit up, man, did not look like the same player. He did not look 100% at all. Um, but you see those grades right there, not really great, as you can see. The year before, though, he had the sixth most rushing yards in the Power Five at 1,466. He's a big running back, six foot two, 225 pounds. But his nickname, Dalton, is Rocket because he's got great speed at that size, man. He had uh, 16 carries in 2022. They went for 20 plus yards. That tied for second in the uh, in the Power Five as well. Size, speed, freak. Who hopefully is in for a bounce back senior season after an injury filled uh, 2023? Yeah, and I'll tell you what, we may have for our two spotlights here the best combination of names of any team that we're going to do in Rocket and then Tonka. We got Big Tonka, <laughs> Tonka Hemingway on the inside, one of our top 10 defensive tackles come, going into this year. Just a really good interior pass rusher, man. A 77.7 .7 pass rush grade in the top 30 last year. One of 10 Power 5 D tackles who was 75-plus in both pass rush and run defense. Just a solid player. He's just under 300 pounds, but he's really athletic. He gets off well. He's really flexible. Just a good, solid player to, to just base your defense around in the middle. Yeah, absolutely, Dolan. So looking at this team right now, I mentioned before how Shane Beamer had two winning seasons to start his South Carolina tenure, went 5-7 and seven last year. Do they make a bowl game this year, or what do you think for the South Carolina Gamecocks in 2024? 
Um, I would say probably not. It would be really successful year for them if if they did, right? I, I think this year is just about the development of Lenora Sellers, right? I think they're really, really high on his talent. They're really, really high on his potential. And you're going to see athletically. He's, his athletic ability is alone is going to keep them in games, right? Even if it's a lot of improv and things like that. It's a lot different than Spencer Rattler, who was more of a true, like, just pure passer. Um, if he were to develop enough to bring them to a bowl game this year, I think they would look at themselves very highly going into 2025. Yeah, I agree. And you look at their schedule, man. At Kentucky, home against LSU, home against Ole Miss, at Alabama, at Oklahoma, home against Texas A&M, uh, home against Missouri, and at Clemson. That's eight games. That are like, I'd be surprised if they won any of those eight games, honestly. So four and eight might be in the cards for uh, for South Carolina. Now they have talented players on both sides of the ball that we went over already, but the offensive line being one of the worst in the country last year and kind of staying the same this year, um, the coverage unit is still a major question mark for them uh, next year as well. It's going to be tough. I agree with you. I think a successful season for them is getting to six and six, to a six wins and making a bowl game. But with that schedule, one of the 20 hardest schedules in the country, it's going to be tough for me to see the Gamecocks uh, making a bowl game next year. But that's what we got for our South Carolina 2024 season preview. Again, we're doing this for every single one of the 70 Power 5 teams. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any single one of them.